Kate Rabina. And I'm Tom Babor. And we'd like to welcome you to the course, which is called Clinical and Social Service Systems Research. It's part of the Certificate in Addiction Science. And uh, before we begin the course, we'd like to tell you a little bit about ourselves. I'm the head of the Department of Community Medicine here in the School of Medicine at the University of Connecticut. And my specialty area is addiction science, especially alcohol, drugs, and more recently I've been getting into gambling, at least on the, the research side. Uh, we're, uh, my career also has spanned a lot of different research areas, including screening, diagnosis, early intervention, and uh, treatment evaluation, and drug and alcohol policy. So Tom and I have been working together for over seven years on a number of different research projects in the field, so we're really excited to have this opportunity to share our knowledge and experience with people like you. Uh, in addition to doing research, I also work as a trainer for the university's Espert Training uh, Institute, providing um, training to folks on screening and brief intervention and referral to treatment um, for alcohol and other drugs. And I also work as the program manager and content expert for the Certificate in Addiction Science program. So with that said, we'd like to give you an overview of what you're going to be doing and what you're going to be learning during this course. I'm going to start the course off by talking about treatment and early intervention services, both from a clinical and a public health perspective. We'll review what is known about the effectiveness of different treatment and intervention services, including harm reduction, and we'll talk about ways that scientific knowledge is generated so we can understand why treatment is effective. We'll also cover information literacy, how to critically evaluate the evidence, the importance of literature reviews, and how to develop a research plan. Uh, we'll review various study designs, outcome measures, assessments and scales for data collection, and moderators and mediating variables. The last week of the course will be dedicated to your own research proposals. By the end of the course, we hope you will be able to critically evaluate the different parts of the treatment literature. And uh, we want you to know a lot more about how clinical and health services research is conducted, interpreted, and critically evaluated. Ideally, you'll be able to conduct your own research and collaborate with those who are doing team science. We also want you to be able to apply the knowledge you've gained in other ways. So we hope that you will enjoy the course and all the resources that we put together for you. So welcome to the world of addiction science. Let's begin.